Let's see what that did. doesn't drop into water. Main floor elevator online. Armory seals disengaged. The armory's open. That should be enough for them.
Still got it, Peyton. Let's just fix this quick and get the hell out of here. Main doors back online. It's done. The armory is open. Try not to make me regret arming you to the teeth. Jim, I do not know what to say. You have repaid your life debt a hundredfold. Please, accept this inadequate gift of thanks. It is a magnetic upgrade to your grappling hook, allowing you to connect to select magnetized metal objects. It will give you access to previously inaccessible areas. I found it invaluable in my first colony explorations. Thanks. I can see that coming in handy. There is a magnetized plate nearby if you would like to test it out. There is even something there you might find valuable. Also, my father is in that area attending the greenhouse. He desires to speak with you. Will do, Mira. No turning back now. I drew him out, and I let him glimpse me at the relay station. If fortune favors my enterprise, his curiosity will lead him to the truth. After that, I can only hope he is the man of honor I take him for. <laughs> You have done much good for Mira, for my people. But now I must ask for your indulgence. If you would aid an old man needful of closure, in the buried past, amidst the chaos of frenzy, many friends were lost, some known, but others, fates were unaccounted for, mysteries that haunt me, unanswered questions, inaccessible answers. Go where I may not. Uncover what you can of four colonists. Set my mind at rest, and faithfully, I will share great teachings with you. When you are
are ready to return to your base, meet me outside our camp, and I will show you home. Sorry, it's a little cramped in here. <laughs> Wasn't really meant for passengers. I'll try not to make this awkward. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, you comfortable? Um, it will suffice. Head that way, back towards the lava. I like your collections. I didn't realize you shared my hobby. Oh, just some bric-a-brac to remind me of home. Who is she? Oh, uh, that's my wife, Grace. Let her know I'm okay is pretty much job one right now. She's... so beautiful. I didn't realize you had a wife. Ten years and counting. Had a baby boy a year ago. God, it's been a year. And you left her to come here? I came here for her. Her and Hank. Things were getting harder, and it was an opportunity I couldn't turn down. I see. Jim, I know you are a man of honor and great loyalty, so it pains me to ask this of you. But you must not tell the men of Nevik about us. You must not tell anyone we're here. Are you serious? How am I supposed to make a place for your people if nobody knows you exist? You don't know the risks I have taken just in trusting you. I can see your nature, but Nevik... If the Corporation learns their lost colony had survivors, after all the pains they took to keep it secret, they would start asking questions, demanding answers. And sooner or later, they will come to take what they think is theirs. Look, I know not everybody has the nicest things to say about Nevik, but Braddock's a good man. I trust him. You do? And he trusts you? I think he does. Then, why did he lie to you about the first colony? Oh. Well, I'm gonna have to ask him about that. Until you know? Until you would stake the lives of your family on his loyalties? I ask only that you do not stake the lives of mine. are almost 50 years old. If you can locate a replacement for the one I left in your cockpit, it would be another small step. That and I would be grateful.
Here's C4 explosives for the win. Okay, this looks familiar. Hi again. Kinda thought I'd have heard from you by now. Maybe you didn't get my last message? With Hank and the walking? And yes, I realize you can't answer me. Just... Answer me, okay? Roger that. Flying to assist. Be there ASAP. Holy cow, Jim, is that you? I don't know how you're alive, but we need you, brother. Hurry! Corona's out. 